Today we're meeting with Harlem star Jerry Johnson to talk about acting, life in NYC, and more. The party is over. It's all bullshit. I don't want to be reminded of my ups, and that's all Q will be now. Might as well make it official. Off the top, let me just get the elephant out of the room. We are not in Harlem. No. <laughs> We're actually in Midtown at a restaurant that you brought us to, Le Botanese. Yes. This is the dish I get most often, which is the Tibetan mama, because I love curry. Yes, and it some smells rice. fantastic. And then we have the chili, which is always so good and so hearty, with the sour cream on top. Mmm. Mm. Funny, mad beautiful. Amy likes me. Let's talk about the show. It's such an incredible show. Very strong black female characters. And I feel as though there is so much hoopla and, and necessary hoopla mm -hmm. over what you and the other characters represent on that show. Why does it resonate so strongly, not just with black women, but with people in general? I think because it's so specific in its complexities, right? It's like usually we see women and either they're completely perfect or they're completely broken, right? We don't see the discovery of things a lot because a lot of times, you know, we have these female characters that aren't written by women. And so to follow the lives of four different women from four different backgrounds, living four different types of lifestyles, but coming together as best friends for that love to be palpable on screen and for people to get to see, because, you know, I've never met somebody that's like, I only identify with Angie and that's it, mm -hmm. ever. People are like, I can see myself in Ty. I can see myself in Camille. I can see myself in Quinn because we're living a full spectrum of a human experience. Absolutely. And even now I feel like I'm like going through some Camille in my life and I'm like, have I made it to that point? I know what I want, but am I flirting with disaster? Drama returns. Look at me. Speaking so of representation, uh, you are a member of the LGBT community, uh, and Ty is a queer black woman. Yes. On the show, I believe this is the first queer person that you've played. Mm -hmm. How does how does that feel? I feel like it's it's the best coming out party that I can have, and not coming out as queer because. I've been gay for a long time. But coming out into the industry, and I feel honored to be able to, to play this black queer woman who is powerful, who owns her own business, who overcame adversity, and who is comfortable in her skin. And I don't want to only play queer characters. I think everybody's kind of queer. But I don't only have to play queer presenting or queer forward characters. But I'm so happy that as a queer woman, I got to do this first as my introduction yeah. into the industry. Yes.